Switch to the HE rounds. Turn our vehicle. That should knock out. Yeah, okay, sweet. Okay, good. Oh, that's a perfect side system. It's Puma. Okay, I think we knocked that out. Okay. Turning right. Lots of infantry coming in. Side shot on this leopard. I mean, wow, that should have done some more damage, you'd hope. That did nothing to it. That did an engine kill. That might have actually been an engine. That actually looks like the engine's on fire. We got some Panzergrenadier here, easily visible with the thermal, which is awesome. Okay, that's a crew dismount on that leopard. Oh, this leopard is looking at me. It's a little scary. Did seem to hit it. Uh, can we hit the engine deck here? Oh, that was a good hit. <laughs> They're very not happy with me. All right, howdy boyos. Welcome back to Call to Arms. As promised, we are still doing the German and Russian campaigns. We've just done a German campaign mission not too long ago, so obviously we are here now with the second Russian campaign mission. Now you actually get to choose your units, so we're gonna go quickly go ahead and select, uh, you can only pick one of these every time, so we're gonna go for either helicopter or the artillery. Definitely gonna go for the helicopter. Then we get to choose between two servants or tanks. We do have a T-72B up here, so we'll probably go for the two T-8s instead of the three T-72s. And then at the very start of this mission, you actually get to choose between Gvardia um, or uh, Russian Marine or <coughs> Russian VDV. I don't know why I said Marines, but you can actually already get VDV here, but you cannot get Gvardia. So I thought I'll get the Gvardia because I believe they're a little rating higher in this game above VDV. Now, before we get going, two things. First of all, I wanted to really play this with Fog of War on. I know the previous mission for the Russians was really easy. Uh, we just ran over their units, and because we can see everything, it makes it a little cheap. Now, I've played a lot of Gates of Hell lately with Fog of War on, and I personally think Fog of War on is so much more interesting. Now, I do feel like when you have a huge mission, for example, some of those uh, Men of War or Hinkle missions that you want to put Fog of War on, um, especially in co-op where you can't save, you sometimes could spend three, four hours, and after an hour and a half, two hours, you know, you're mentally done. And the thing is, you can't save. So in co-op, I feel like it's kind of hard to put Fog of War on all the time, though I am doing it with Davidson and Barry in our little co-op Gates of Hell Conquest campaign, but that's a different story. I wanted to put on Fog of War here today, to, to try it, and I realized that unlike Men of War, and also Gates of Hell, where if you turn Fog of War on, this, this black shroud almost comes up, and you can see the field of vision or field of view of your units. So for example, let's say I was looking at this guy, uh, you know, well, so for example, everything left of this wall <clears throat> well, everything, yeah, everything left of this would be black, not super black, but just like a little black mist, indicating that there's currently nobody in this vehicle who can see anywhere behind this wall. Thus, there could be a guy basically right here. Now, that black mist or black shroud, as far as I've seen, doesn't actually exist in Call to Arms. Now, if someone has a mod that brings it in, or there's just an option that I missed, and I'm not talking about turning on Fog of War, because it, it what it does, it just hides units, and you've got to move units in close to spot them, which is cool. But if you don't know where your units can see, so I could move a guy up like, you know, let's say there's a guy here. I don't know if he can see these walls or if I have to move them all the way to this tree before the black shroud disappears. And because there is no black shroud, it's really hard to, to tell. So instead of adding... Um, an interesting mechanic. I felt like it was really a frustrating mechanic. I actually tried playing this mission with it for about five minutes, and I was just dumbfounded that I couldn't find the, the, the range of my guy's vision. So again, if someone knows a mod, or if I'm just a stupid idiot and it's somewhere here in the video settings or in the game settings, and I looked through this for a couple minutes, uh, I don't think it's I don't think it's in there. But if anyone does think or know what to do, what to change, please do let me know. I'd highly appreciate it. Mostly because I would love to turn on Fog of War to make this a little bit more complicated. With that being said, we got our units up here. Uh, our goal is very simple. A attack and occupy this first village. So we're going to, uh, I think, just uh, grab... Actually, we do have some extra units in this vehicle. We can get those all to come out. We are going to uh, make a line of units here at the front. 
including our T-80s and T-72. And I guess we're going to go from there. And again, I'll say this one more time. If anyone knows how to fix the fo uh, fog of war issue, I would very much like to know because I would love to switch it. So it's a little more complicated for me to uh, to win and I can't just roll over um, the enemy positions. Now, I just realized something. I'm going to just pause it for one second. Isn't this the end of the first battle? Yeah, yeah, I think so, actually. So, right, remember when we did the border crossing with the Russians? I'm pretty sure this is where, yeah, 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 this is the German barracks. You run over, yeah, because I remember this wall. You, um, you run into this, and this is the final objective of the first mission. So it's actually kind of cool, I just, I just realized that. It's kind of cool that they are continuing the mission basically exactly uh, where you left off. Oh, these guys are really slow. Okay. We oh, do have two squads of Gavardi. We have a squad of regulars, which is a little less interesting, but uh, it's kind of whatever. Uh, we'll get these squads of Gavardi up here, and our T-80s and our T-72. And then I think we can make our helicopter number two. We do have a BMP, a BTR-90, which is a very rare vehicle. I think only a couple hundred were made. Uh, in the end, before they cease production on I'm not sure why they cease production on the BTR-90. Uh, I always thought it was a very interesting vehicle based on the fact that it has, uh, I think, a 30 mil. It has an ATGM launcher, but it also has a secondary... I'm trying to find where it is. IRL, it has a secondary grenade launcher. Does this one have a secondary grenade launcher? 30 mil? Concourse? Okay, so I'm pretty sure... That in the IRL version of these, there is a grenade launcher sort of weirdly mounted on the side of the turret that fires the uh, 30 millimeter, uh, you know, Russian standard grenade launching um, equipment. Kind of equivalent to the American 40 Mike Mike launcher, the Mark 19, but a little smaller caliber. It's what the Russians use in their AGS 30. Uh, I believe the AGS-17 would be a, a predecessor to the AGS-30, but it still, I think, uses 30 millimeter rounds. And then we have this BRDM-2. Uh, you have the option earlier on to pick between a regular BRDM with the 14.5 uh, KPVT on top, but I went with the Concours missiles on top just because I figured we are going to need uh, some more anti-tank firepower. Okay, I guess this is going to be relatively interesting. Why don't we uh, move up? Our Concours, which only has five missiles, no reload. Now we're going to use this against the... I think they're both American and German positions. Uh, let's move you up here. Do have some... Random German Panzergrenadiers. It looks like, just based on their thicker uniforms. Some regular Panzergrenadiers uh, in the area. We have, let's take a look, Dingo, Leopard. Oh, we got reinforcements coming in. Leopards, another Dingo. We have these, uh, what are they called? Puma? No, Boxer. Yeah, Puma has the other, Puma has the, is the uh, heavy APC. So we got two Leopards, two Dingoes. Is there a Leopard 2A5? What is this, a Leopard 2A5 as well? Oh, another, okay, another Boxer, another Boxer. Oh, wait, no, this is an, oh, we have enemy Martyrs coming in. Okay, this is a big attack. I don't know if that's going to be attack on... If they're going to attack me, or if it's... There's another vehicle? Another leopard? Oh my god, okay. There's a... Just a huge... Okay, they sent another two... Jesus Christ. They're just coming over. Okay. Well, this is pretty nuts. Uh, okay. So they're sending in, like, a whole army freaking detachment here. Now, luckily, we do have a helicopter. But I'm really not sure if I'm a big fan of the helicopters in this game. They're a little... I don't know. They work, but they're also a little buggy. Okay, we have our first... Ooh, see, that's what I mean. Let's not get shot down by this guy. There comes an ATGM. Vikir aiming at the gun. That's probably not going to knock it out. Switch the thermal. Boxer. Knocked out. Perfect hit. Okay, roll back a little bit. Another leopard, although we're like right on the edge of our thermal visibility. Switch back to thermals. Okay, that's a dingo. I don't know if I can... 
Okay, that's not a hit. That's a martyr. That's a kill shot, I think. Okay. Switch to the HE rounds. Turn our vehicle. That should knock out. Yeah, okay, sweet. Okay, good. Oh, that's a perfect side system. It's Puma. Okay, I think we knocked that out. Okay. Turning right. Lots of infantry coming in. Side shot on this leopard. I mean, wow, that should have done some more damage, you'd hope. That did nothing to it. That did an engine kill. That might have actually been an engine. That actually looks like the engine's on fire. We got some Panzergrenadier here, easily visible with the thermal, which is awesome. Okay, that's a crew dismount on that leopard. Oh, this leopard is looking at me. It's a little scary. Did seem to hit it. Uh, can we hit the engine deck here? Oh, that was a good hit. <laughs> They're very not happy with me. Let's switch to... Oh, no. Okay, they just shot my Kamov down. Okay, well, you know what happens, I guess. Uh, what's our tanks doing here? This tank... See, I'm not sure how the armor system in this game works. I know I mentioned it in the last video. I don't know if there's a real system to this game. Like, I mean, that's a lower, lower plate hit on the... Like, I guess I can even... Uh, I don't know if I can hit it. This might not be a good hit here. Engine deck. Yep, okay, that's a good hit. But then it requires... And even then, he's not... That's just a mobility kill. I mean, he's very much up alive and kicking. Shoot the crew out, maybe, but that's not necessarily a good way of killing this tank. That might have been an engine shot. That's on fire. That's a really good kill. But then there's a Leopard 2A5, like, staring at me. The engine's killed on it. I mean, can I shoot the lower plate? I don't... It doesn't look like I can. Okay, this tank is... Taken out, so we've lost one of our T-72s. Or the T-72 I had, I should say. Okay, we'll come over to Ridge. This guy should get blasted. Okay, uh, I don't know where we're going to hit this guy. Oh, that was a perfect hit, actually. That knocked its turret off the bearings. Okay, that dingo just got destroyed. So, actually, I think we just managed to knock out their entire counterattack. Still, you know, we will have to fight the rest of this battle without the helicopter. Ooh, that was a headshot. Nice. Another one. Very inaccurate. I mean, it's not a sniper weapon. It's just a more of an area of fire weapon, as you can see. Do we have the side here of a leopard? I think it looks like. So why don't we try and get it maybe the back of the engine deck? Or maybe, like, right below the turret? Okay, that might have not actually been a horrible shot. But the way this game's armor system works, I believe, is that you just have to be very much trying to flank units as much as possible mostly because it just seems like it's very hard to uh, you know you can't really you can't really pin units from the front in this i've just come to find out it's it's definitely not i mean unless i am not you know, uh, familiar with how the game system works but like a leopard never going to penetrate a t72 from the front or vice versa now, this is an atgm this is going to not really do much i don't think we could move up, reload all of our... It's nice that this is actually a, uh, a remote control turret on the top here. Yo, get out of here, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's go knock out this final... Oh, is it a vehicle or infantry? It's just a tankman running. Wow, he just got massacred. Okay, switch to the gun. It's a little lower. So the ground here is a little uneven. There's a Panzergrenadier here in front of us. That should not be a big issue. We're having some issues with the turret angling here. Or the, um, what's it? Not the, uh, the depression. So I guess we could try and shoot it. Hmm. Let's see if we can... I don't know why my machine gun is firing. I'll just shoot the, uh, the engine deck. There we go. And that might hopefully cause a fire. The track's off. Did not cause a fire. This might be a really horrible angle to shoot this thing into. Yeah. Just eating my shots. We do have this little patrol here. Oh, we can't even hit those guys. Oh, that's a itchy jump. I, mean, I guess as much as they can't really do much to me. Okay, that's an engine fire, which is that's going to be a kill. That seems to be the safest way to knock out enemy machines in this game, is just to knock out their engines with an engine fire. In the meantime, we are repairing our vehicles, our Rosgardia. Time to move you forward. 
One of these throws fire to you. Oh, how did they die? <laughs> what? How did they die? Did they just take like a random shot? Doesn't mean that we can, I think, uh, match or uh, attach our Rose Guardi units together because we have a. Oh, we lost. Oh, no. What's broken on this thing? Oh, the hull? Oh, I need to send the engineer over here, don't I? I do have an engineer here. <clears throat> oh, and this one's probably broken too. Okay, great. Okay, there we go. So we'll send you there. And then this unit will send you to the BTR-90. And then what do we have left over here? There's... Where? What? Oh, right. I'm stupid. On the minimap, that doesn't really look like they're right there. Okay, attach him to that. They can go in there. ATGM. Push you forward to the hill. Tank. This thing still needs some more repairs, so we could get the... Uh, engineer guy to show up here in just a second is there more than one engineer in this section russian engineer i just see one guy with the big backpack we could get more engineers but i'm actually okay right now we'll just take this slow and steady we'll get our engineer guy to come out because only engineers in this game can repair vehicles back to full strength so we'll have you repair this and then we'll have him repair the other two tanks and then the Rosgardia, you guys can all be one squad now. Awesome. Okay. I gotta say, uh, you know, not having voices in this game, really a little bit disconcerting. And uh, it's another thing where I'm like, hey, you know, you guys wanna, wanna wake up and finish the game you started working on uh, seven years ago? And people say, oh, you mean German seven years ago? I backed Call to Arms as Kickstarter, like, back in late 2013, I'm pretty sure. And, oh wow, that was a cool, uh, that was a cool shot. And it's like, dude, where's the sounds? Like, where's my, where's my soldiers yelling? And I think people have tried fixing that issue by um, adding in voices from uh, Men of War, but it's just not the same. You know, it's just like, I don't know, it's just a little weird. Just kind of figured that they would have, a, you know, at this point, have someone do some Russian voices for them. Um, but you know, that's maybe that's. I feel like I've had this argument with myself and with you guys here multiple times and it doesn't really mean that it's going to change just because I'm complaining about it in the video for the 30th time. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty much done just discussing that. It's just, I feel like it's overdone. And, you know, it's never going to change. So if you buy this game, don't expect there to be voices for some reason. There it is. Anyway, I think that I would vastly enjoy this, these particular battles better, but did I just blast that guy? If there was any semblance of the ability to get uh, that fog of war to show up, I think that'd be really good. There's a tow missile right there. I don't know where it is from here. It's like to our to my front left. Thermal. I'll well just blow that thing up. There's a tank. Is that it right there? He. Yep. That's it right there, I think. Vehicle repair, that's good. And that's... Okay, close, no cigar. Reload. Three, two, one. Oof. Okay. Why don't we go repair the next vehicle? BTR-90 can push up. Hold fire, no longer necessary. We could do a thing here where we're just, we're just wasting ammo at this point. We could try and get this uh, concourse on the flank of the tank. Which I think would be a very effective way of dealing with it. Okay. That was... Oh, do not want to turn on night vision. That just doesn't really help me at all. That's an engine? Oh, it's looking at me. It's looking at me. It's... Oh, come on. Look, that was a good, that was an all right side shot. Okay, just need some engineer to come and repair it now. All right, wait, where did my engineer go? Why are you not coming to repair? Just, oh, these guys must have repairs on them. But who has it? No, no, wait, nobody here has repairs on them. One of these guys has to have repairs on them. Uh, hello? Is he gonna. Oh, okay, he just he doesn't need a repair kit, never mind. So 
it's clear that we are just in this awesome, well, I don't know if said awesome, awkward impasse where he can't kill me and I can't kill him. So the best thing we can do to each other is, well, they have crew on the top, which we don't because we're lucky our crew is protected on the inside of the tank. Um, but if you do have crew on the top, I mean, that's how you, so I guess, slowly take off their crew and, and work them over that way. Really not a very intuitive way of doing it. Um, I guess I could try and go for a, like a, a push here. Okay, see, that was a good angle for us not to get pen that. We're going to have to keep the angle pretty shallow, I think, is the way of saying it in English. Okay, he's, especially if he's missing anyway, it doesn't really matter. Okay, get some 50 cal here going out. See, that's very necessary, but, I mean, it's just annoying. Oh, more units coming in the, off the map. Surprising, because, uh, you know... Oh, it's got an airdrop ammo here. What is coming in? Okay, two more leopards. Three... Come on. What? Three. Three, come on. Okay, that's just a massacre. Where is this tank? Okay, perfect. Did that was that just a mobility kill? Does that should be a lot more than okay, we gotta shoot it in the side of the turret, maybe. That did I don't think anything? Okay, come on, come on, come on. We are gonna finish this guy off. That's on that's on fire, that's on fire, we can retreat now. We got a bunch of Panzer in the deer just like crawling up for some reason. Destroyed that dingo. We got another. We got a boxer right behind it. Is there a vehicle coming up to my flank? Oh, it's just a boxer or a dingo. That was now I'm confusing them just randomly. Okay, destroy these Panzer in the deer who are just walking out to get ambushed. I don't know why these guys aren't reacting to my freaking tag. What are you guys doing? And there goes. Okay, so we just flanked half of their unit that was coming in, which is good. But we do have more stuff coming in this way. Which is including uh, some heavier equipment. Okay, well, there are doors open in the back. That's okay. Okay, switch and ready. This is AP. Okay, that got destroyed. So we know there's something coming up that ridge. I'm assuming it's a leopard and a dingo. That's the dingo. Okay, can't hit it while we're... All right, there's the leopard behind it. Come on, come on. Okay, that was a perfect hit. Perfect time to reload. New reinforcement available. Okay, well, we could get some armor now, I guess. There you go, get a BTR-82 with the auto cannon on there. Okay. Not sure. Let's get you out and get you back in. Maybe if we get them out and back in, they close the rear doors. It just looks a little weird, huh? Okay. Pushed them up. This is almost... Oh, this is taking a very long time to repair. Okay, well, this thing should have been dead. Okay, it's also not fixing the ammo situation for us. Switch to HE. Cannot... Okay, that's better not have a gun left. Oh, it does. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You, um, you would think that if you compare this game to Gates of Hell, that Gates of Hell has to be the less, f less finished game because it came out a lot more. That's a, that's one of mine. But then in re in 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 hindsight, when you look at it like this, you would think that Gates of Hell is a lot more finished, even though it came out very recently. There, there's actually audio in Gates of Hell, like people talk. Um, you know, I, I think the armor system is a lot less weird. I'm not saying that the armor system should be whoever shoots at the other person first wins, because I could see that being the argument people make. Well, that's just the way modern tanks. Like I don't know, there's got to be some sort of system you can make that's a little less. But I guess there is an armor system technically when you look at this right here, the whole armor. So, like, do I just have to shoot the same tank 15 times to break them? I don't know. It's actually a good question. But 
There's no real answer to that, uh, unless, as far as I'm aware, anyway. So it makes this kind of a little bit of, you know, of a frustrating exercise as we're just mowing down AI who <laughs> are uh, super out of our reach here. Oh, we can't really do much back to us. I feel kind of guilty. Uh, reload that machine gun. We're going to need these guys to come and repair this vehicle. We have the BTR ready, at least. That's awesome. We have the two extra tanks. Oh, and they're coming over this ridge. All guns blazing, boys. All right. Now, secretly, I'm hoping that when it says first village, there isn't many more left. But let's both, let's agree between you and me that when it says first village, there's going to be at least one more, right? Okay. Uh, thermal. That's the wrong round. Although, actually, he should be able to just blow one of these dingoes up. No question about it. Perfect. H-E. Push up. Where? There it is. And yeet. Oh, God. That's just brutal. Okay. And now, I guess, uh, this guy is ready to roll. That's awesome. Let's push our Rosvgardia forward. Our Tiger. Start repairing you. Get you guys up in there. No, not you. God damn it. Get you in there and you repair. There we go. Oh, what happened to this thing? It got tracked. Okay, well, that was just machine got it. So they did actually fight back, just not when I was looking. We can get someone to come out and repair, though. So where's this last? There's two more tanks left. Or, oh, it's a weasel in a tank. Okay, well, we can just move around with our heavily armored T-72. I hope that we don't take a return shot from this tank. See, and I think this would have been a little more interesting if we did this with Fog of War on. But like I said, it's basically... Very, it's very hard to see what's in the Fog of War and what's not. And I tried it and it just made it so... Oof. That's a, that's a cool hit. Made it so frustrating that I didn't think it was worth... Uh, using, which is kind of a shame because it's a cool idea. Was that a kill shot on that leopard? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they're not looking at me. We're going to shoot the engine, I guess. Now it's burning. Okay, we're going to fall back, pop smoke. That leopard is burning up. Yep, it's gone. All right, and now it's time for our tanks and armor superiority. All of our vehicular devices to start rolling up into this town and blasting. And this unit is almost done too. Can we finish this? Come on. Yo, what's the accuracy at? <laughs> wow, it takes me one second to take over the accuracy department. Oh, we're out of ammo now. But All right, well, a couple more shots than I thought. But this is going all right. I don't know if we're expected to, like I said, do more than... Um, than one town, but just based on the fact that it says first town, implying heavily there's a second town. We'll keep pushing up. I did that BMP that died was super sad. God, man, that was just a little a little annoying. But all right, BRDM, you're good to roll. I guess we'll put you at this weapon crate. I don't know what's the other small crate. It might just be launchers in here. I I assume, based on absolutely nothing. I would love to use a Fog of War system. Like, I, I know this is like my third time saying this. I would love to use it. I think it'd be a lot more interesting. Just the downside is that, well, you know, it's kind of hard to use because you don't know. Here we go. I do like this system where I can tell you, you can tell your squat mates what to do. There's definitely one guy like right over here somewhere. AK-15, ready to blast. He's got to be around the corner. He has, a, he has an RPG or a launcher in his hand, so it didn't really help him much. Okay, get along the wall here. As we check these areas, there's a guy in his house here, I think. No, 
Nope, he's not in the house. He's gone now, though. Oof. We haven't even captured it. What are you talking about? Also, why is there guys, like, right behind me right now? Like, where did they come from? Okay, there's actually a bunch of weapons in here. So we'll give this guy some protection in a form of, uh, of AT. Okay, there's another village. I figured there would be. I mean, there was no way there wasn't going to be one. Okay, well, let's clear the village before we, uh, destroy the artillery, huh? Okay, so we have, what, two Panzerhawiches and another leopard. Oh, they have three Panzerhawiches. Abrams? Targeting our location. Uh oh. Oh, man. They haven't even fired. Wait, wait, wait. That's not them firing. Also, where are these enemies at? Aren't they, like, in here somewhere? Okay, well, this was a little toxic. These guys aren't even firing and the map's exploding. But, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I, I enjoyed Call to Arms and the US campaign was pretty nifty. I hate using that word. But I think that was mostly because you were not going against units, uh, you know, from a faction like here the Germans are facing the the Russians or Russians are facing the Germans and the Americans and their armor and everything is pretty equal. Whereas with the, um, hey, what is this guy? Did I lose the, wow, how? The entire Russian Gavardia squad got annihilated by an artillery shell. God damn, dude. Um, yeah, and I think the main... Oh, that's a launcher. Nope, idiot. I think that the main thing is that the, um, the those American campaign, you were always fighting against units that were like a lot less trained and a lot less equipped. It's just that they had a lot more units. So, for example, you'd see, uh, you know, an entire squad of Americans go up against multiple squads of the enemy. And it made sense just because they were balanced around the fact that your guys were a lot better equipped. You had less of them. Um, they had better training. And the same went, obviously, for your armor. Your armor was so much better. I mean, the Abrams just destroys any of the uh, the armor. The GRM had to field the T-72s and the... Oh, this thing is still riddled. Oh, my God. The T-72s and especially the T-55s were just no match at all for the American armor. But now, when it, you know, push comes to shove and there is actual tank v. tank combat, it, it's clear that, you know, the... Uh, oh, really? Get out of here. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I saw that coming. I was going to try and move it. Oh, they destroyed my weapons crate, so. And they stunned the crew. Push it up. But these things aren't even firing. That's just exploding. That's just maps. Oh, no. What is this? The BTR? What happened there? What? Half of my stuff's just on fire? What the hell? Oh, don't tell me. Of course, the engineer was the one who had to die. All right, well, we'll push everything forward. Um, our two whole Gavardia, I'm sure they're super excited to get going. Why don't we use this BTR-80 and try something interesting? And it's probably not gonna work. I've really come to think that for me, these Call to Arms missions have almost become like a bash a bash video and I don't mean to I don't mean to shit on call to arms but at the same time it, you know uh, do I think it deserves someone to bash on it a little bit well absolutely it's just it's very weird to me how this game has been out for so long and there's still no voice acting um, the armor system in this game is just very weird I'm not sure how it works I think the only idea that I can have is that you're supposed to just constantly put rounds into an enemy tank and that the idea is that whoever started shooting first wins. Um, where's the... There's something coming up here in front of me. Oh, okay. Yeah, just send an entire... Another wave at me of unkillable vehicles. Oh my god. This thing is going to die so hard. We're going to try to ambush two of these enemy units right here. Here we go. One... One... 
to stop smoke. <laughs> okay, that was kind of like a cool hit and run action, I guess. But they're well, they're running. What they're running didn't happen. It was more the, the hitting, you know. Oh man, that, that artillery does not mess around. Also, they keep sending in these spearhead groups. And I'm just so confused as to what they're going to achieve because they're just they're hard to kill and they just cause this to be an absolute mess. Thermals might be useful here to spot. There's a leopard right there. Yeah, I'm never gonna pen that from that air angle. I'm just I don't know, maybe maybe someone maybe someone who's smarter than I am could uh Give me some information as to how I'm supposed to play against enemy tanks. Obviously, you're supposed to flank them, but that's... When there's 20 of them dug in like this, that's a little hard, you know? Uh, let's see if we can just at least kill some units coming up this road. Uh-oh. That was a good hit, I think. No, it was not. AT gems from the front are never going to be very useful. I don't have any smoke to launch, though. Oh, it hit the wall. The, oh, okay. Let's wait here. In an ambush. Okay, I don't know. Come on. I don't have enough depression. Okay, screw it. We're getting our depression back. Yeah, that was uh, never going to become anything other than a failed attempt at a meme. Don't, oh, you get an ATGM loaded, really? Come on, come on, come on, come on. So you have to really rely on the AI being really stupid, letting you do this to them, shooting them in their flank. There's a guy right behind me. What the hell? You basically have to just rely on that happening, where the enemy is just super stupid, drives right up into your face. That's when you pop around the corner and and hope that you get a good flank shot on one of them. Or I don't even know, did I just kill the turret on this thing, or did I stun the crew? We're never. Oh, well, that's gonna be bad. Yep. And now we have to rotate an entire tank. Oh, here, hope that I don't lose. Okay, we did knock out one of their leopards. Dingo next. This guy's okay. Tracked. That's fine. We don't have smoke. Load. Uh, maybe ash shot. Okay, that might actually did a. That was a engine kill, but not enough. Maybe we can hit it again. Nope. Oh, no, that's a kill. Okay, so that seems to be working out relatively effectively constantly. Just hitting them in the butt, setting them on fire, and hope that that is uh, enough to cause... A okay, this has been armored, or turreted. I know I said armored. That's really stupid. What is... Where, who is shooting me here? Oh. So we only really have like two ta one tank that's operational right now. The other ones are all broken. We're going to need some engineers here, I think. Okay, push this up, push this up. Oh, we lost another tank. T-90s? How many can we get of those? I could use some T-90s up in here. I mean, that's awesome. Okay, it's a T-90M as well. Oh, it is a T-90M, okay. Oof, nice. I can't wait for this to never... Actually, this thing might just get killed because I'm mentioning it right now. All right, I have ATGM loaded. I mean, I might as well use it, tracked it. Artillery coming into the village that I'm in. Try and see if we can like get it through the engine deck there. That did I don't know of anything. Thermal it's all clear behind me here. Below the turret right there. That oh that didn't that went went straight underneath it. I really thought that would do something. Alright, I guess not. Load again. There we go. Turret knocked out. Perfect. Reload. Quite a large amount of uh, enemy forces over here, though, which is causing me some uh, some definite stress. Okay, destroy some of these red units on the map. There's one thing I dislike, it's red on the map. It looks a lot cleaner when it's not red. 
That's another try and making taking out the enemy turret. Uh, thermal just below the ridge there. Tracked. Okay, that's a kill. Okay, so we finally managed to knock that out. Uh, take these two guys. Work on that engineer team. We got two engineers now. Get them forward. Did this tank got destroyed? Russian engineer, go work on this thing. Prone out. Uh, these three guys actually send them over here. Leopard, that's two a what two a five? Look like a two a seven just for one second. Okay, knock some of these enemies out over here. Clean the map. Yo, so clean the map. Oof, that was a little brutal. Got a squad of uh, Panzergrenadier. deer. Oh, actually, just well, regular infantry with some Panzergrenadier, deer, but they are too far away to cause me any harm. Guy just got obliterated. Okay, and then we need to send one here. And we need to get out of this town. Send these guys left. Oh, there. That artillery seems to be following. Oh God, it's close. Jesus Christ. That artillery seems to be, like, following basically where I am. In an aggressive manner, too. Like, if I move up, it doesn't matter. Try to heal this one guy that went down. Los Guardia push up. We have this T-80 that can push up. How many T-90s do we have? Oh, we have unlimited? Okay, well, I mean, hey, look, look, look. Guy's out of ammo now, so I might as well just get you off of this. Are these two? Oh, there are Guardia. Nice. Okay, we got an extra squad of Gavardi, or an extra two men of Gavardi, huh? An extra T90 coming in off the map. Okay, you gotta look forward here, buddy. You don't know what you're doing. Reload, reload. Oh, pull it back a little bit. That's a, a leopard that we can shoot right there. Okay, forget that I said that. Let's try that again. I just looked over my microphone to make sure that I was recording my voice. I would have been really annoyed if I didn't record my voice at all. That is an engine kill, but not an engine on fire, which is really what we're hoping to get. So try again. That seems almost too easy now to just aim for their engines consistently, but if it was that easy, it would be doing a lot better than we currently are. I think the main thing here is that you have to realize that it's really hard to knock these tanks out from the front, which is fine. That's that's fair and balanced, but what's the game going for if it's hard to knock out enemy vehicles from the front, um, but, you know, both sides get so many of them, then what's the exact correct way of knocking them out? Because I can't send a huge amount of my stuff to flank because, I mean, look at the map. There isn't a great place to really flank that tank from. The terrain even... Oh, come on. Get the enemy artillery out of here, buddy. The terrain just doesn't seem to be very appropriate for flanking here. We're mowing down a bunch of our infantry, though, which is good. Okay. That's a lot of incoming fire. We're in this ditch here. Hopefully this tank doesn't get it exploded. That was very close. That's the actual artillery firing this time. Or I saw some of it firing, anyway. Let's get a VDV team up here. They are probably going to be walking, not driving, so they have to walk here for quite a bit. Tanks being repaired. Push up to those Guardia. Push up here. Okay, that's a small team of VDV, actually. I kind of expect that to be a little bigger. Do I have other vehicles? Is Okay, this is another truck. And these are a bunch of their broken units. Okay, we're pushing up now. I'm going to use this T-80 to push the flank. I think that, you know, <laughs> if it wasn't dead, it's dead now. Uh, can we hit this guy on the side of the engine? That, did it blow up? It looked like some explode. Okay, no, it did not. That might have been my other tank hitting it from the front. That's an engine kill. And then the next shot made actually blow it up but it just like you see what i'm saying right it just feels a little that actually worked it feels a little cheeky uh and the flanking is a good thing the flanking is a good thing because if you couldn't if you didn't flank 
you shouldn't be able to win just in straight head on battles because that's kind of boring but at the same time like what <laughs> what's the what's the play here do i just have to flank every single enemy unit it's not always possible like look at the first engagement no that shouldn't have he shouldn't have started shooting there Okay, we did get the first hit off, and we have the angle down into his engine, so we can just shoot, like, right there, probably. Cause an engine fire. Hope we survive. Eh. Feels a little cheeky. I'm hoping... That was an Abrams we hit. Other track's damaged now. <laughs> okay, okay. That's funny. Come on. Might as well smoke. Go for a repair. Send up tanks. Uh, this tank is still in needs... Oh, engineer died on it. That's not good. We can't keep repairing, though. Here's my T-90. Infantry squad. Well, not really a squad. It's more of a fire team that just got annihilated, but... Another leopard. Okay, don't know why you had AP or an, uh, an ATGM loaded. A little frustrating. Where are these enemy vehicles? Thermal. I want to knock out that ATGM that's been constantly harassing me. There's a dingo. Knock that out. There's somebody enemy artillery. I know there's a there's an ATGM. He's AP on it. I think we broke it. He's trying to repair it. Oh, no, he's back on it. He's back on it. We'll use AP because it's loaded. I should have loaded HG to second shot. There we go. Re uh, ruin that. We're out of thermal. Oh, no, we're not out of thermal. ATGM. Second ATGM. Shoot this Abrams. Did it actually kill it? Was it an Abrams? I don't know. Uh, no, it didn't kill it. Just fired. Load HG. Hit the ATGM. Now we're out of thermal. Shoot the ATGM. Knock that second one out. This guy is okay. All right, keep rolling up. Don't know why we have a reflex loaded again. We might be able to do some crazy things here now. Hold. Side shot. Engine. I think that's a leopard based on the uh, tur the uh, things behind a turret, the antennas here. So our machine guns are blasting. That didn't do anything. You know what? Screw what? Screw what? Screw that. This is a peak, uh, peak... Oh my god, I can't even speak English anymore. There we go. That was a Puma, I think. Was that the kill shot on this tank in front of me? I don't know. I don't think it was. That is a very ouchy hit. Do not, do not tell me my tanks are... My tracks are broken. Oh, man, we're getting, like, direct hit. And <laughs> it doesn't care. Is any of my tracks? Done. No, it's just taking it like an absolute champ. No, now it's track damaged. And we're constantly being stunned. Abrams is moving down. That's an engine kill. Now it needs repairs. And there's a guy like right next to me here. No, knock out the Abrams first, please. Oh, get out of here with that artillery, man. Oh, my God. Hey, we can't repair it unless um, we knock out the enemy artillery, though. Okay, this tank operational. Go repair this. Push up forward. Push up forward. T-90. Pushing it up. Another T-90, because we are apparently able to just get those in indefinitely. Who just shot at me? Bunch of tank crew here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can we hit in these howitzers? Was that even a hit? It looked like we hit it. I'm trying to aim like right at its gun barrel right here. That should have done some more. God, this thing is just getting blasted, dude. Oh my god. That's kind of awesome in a weird way. Our engineer, come on, get up. Push for the left here. T90, push hard on the left. Tank's being repaired. That's a, uh, a leopard. Oh, are you just out of ammo completely? Yeah, that's broken.
see we can repair you. Load a P, anyone? You're just loading heat and reflex. I need you to repair it and load. Oh, come on. Why are you, lo oh, there it is. Can we shoot it like right underneath the gun barrel from this angle? Interesting possibility here. Nope. Okay, this is broken. Get in the tank. And get ready to drive. Here we go. One round of AP, that's not a lot. That's nothing, that's one. Oh, we actually have, oh, we just have the single round of AP. We have no reflex, no HE, no heat. Okay. Got some tank crew around here. Machine gun, one. What, that's, cannot imagine you survive all that. We just gotta get up and down, and then we're right on the flank of these artillery. A. Hey. Perfect. Now the question is, can this thing shoot the side of the artillery? Nope. Are they sending in more stuff from the back? This is a crazy mission. Oh, it's just a boxer. Okay. We have a uh, airdrop ready in a minute, or a little bit more, so that's okay. Uh, we need to repair that vehicle. Get you up here. Get you in the ammo zone. What is this? Another? Oh my god, I don't even know how we're going to kill all those things. RPGs, you're ready. Oh, one RPG. Kobe. That actually was an engine kill. Try that again. We're getting machine gunned. Oh, that's a fire. That's a fire. Get down. Get down. Pretty effective use of the RPG. Two shots, one kill. That's actually not bad. There's a... Ooh, there's a Bradley back there. I think it looks like one. Look at that. Is it going to ATGM me? Probably not. See, that just feels a little weird. I shouldn't... I guess I can one-shot those things, but then, like... I mean, this is the side of a turret. And that should just be a kill. I don't know, like... It does a hole or an impact. I don't know if it killed it. I'd like to think... Okay, there we go. We actually knocked the turret out in a second shot, and we just got damaged by something. See, we can run up to the... Run up to the village. L below the turret. No, why are we have... Why are you loading a reflex, you idiot? Smoke. Oh, that was the smoke that was... Oh, actually, that worked relatively well. Nope, that's a horrible hit. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to create a ton of ammo. Nice. Our engineer is not even trying to stand up and repair. Come on, get up. Engineer, team, repair this thing. Infantry is all over. Everything on this is broken. Oh. It's just completely out of ammo. No, that's not true. Only the machine gun is. There you go. Who's the last guy right next to me? Oh, the artillery's still hitting me, isn't it? Okay, we're going to need these engineer guys to bring an ammo truck or two. Uh, there. Kamaz ammo and Kamaz ammo. We'll get those forward. This tank crew actually lost their vehicle because they ran out of uh, ammo, I'm pretty sure. Drop an ammo crate right here. Although it's be currently being targeted by the enemy, which is a little frustrating. How do we even destroy one of these? Okay, well, it's going to fire again. Truck one... Truck two, move, repair. So it just seems to me like that these, uh, what, number five? Oh my god, we got a lot of these tanks now. It just seems to me like it's just, oh, all these guys died too. Jesus Christ, dude, what the hell? Could I heal these people? That is nuts. Do we, how many medics do we have here? Just a single one. Alright, get, get to healing, I guess. Throw some smoke if we can up here. 
Oh, you <laughs> gotta be kidding me. Oh, that was nuts. Okay, I've got a sniper over here. Is that an ATGM right here? Huh. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. All right, what's next? Let's see if we can snipe out some people here. Oh, he was repairing the tank, but we should we should have tried to kill him. Is he going to get in the turret? Oh, God. He looked over at me. That's a no-no. More enemy artillery inbound. I don't know why it's not aiming in. Okay, that's a horrible shot. Oh, get out of here. I don't know why I'm not getting that accuracy thing. All my guys behind just died. That was a good hit. I don't know if it killed him, though. Oh, that was a weird animation. What's this guy doing? Did you see that? Oh, my God. Okay, let's get some Spetsnaz in here. All right. Where are my... Oh, now this tank needs repairs because it's tracked. We did knock out that leopard up here. Uh, do we have any light vehicles we can call in? A BTR might be even faster to just walking them over. And a BTR might actually help me get rid of some of the enemy uh, enemy infantry. That's annoying because it has that auto cannon, right? We didn't lose the tank crew up here. They were a heroic sacrifice. Okay, Spetsnaz, what do you guys got? AK-15, Ventores, Vitinias, and an AK-12. Vitias, sorry. Which is basically just a PP-19. It's like super upgraded, I think. So this is just the battle of shooting each other in the nose and no one kills the other person. And now they're sending in... Okay, this is a boxer, thank God. I was about to say they can't be sending in much more stuff at me, can they? Okay, push this up to here. Engineer Boyo, you're working on that. You're working on... Oh, that's this tank crew. Who's this? Tunkman, crap. Engineer team, ready to roll. Oh, right, I forgot. These were the guys were the, in the tanks were the engineers. Or the guys in the trucks were the engineers. So where did I send the other... truck to? Send it to this T-90. Oh, man, oh, God. I reckon this could kill it. Oh, wow, HE just... You heard that noise, like, shoof. We're going to have to use a single tank. This is what I'm saying. Like, this is just really weird. I'm in a, I'm forced in a frontal attack. Um, it's not because I want to. It's because I have to. Uh, there isn't really a, a great way for me to flank. I mean, I can think of one, but uh, that's the one I tried here earlier. Then I'm going to run out of ammo. We can use my Spetsnaz maybe for that. Let's go speed this up a little bit. Uh, BTR, front right, ammo truck, disembark, repair, start pushing in. There's only like, what, two, one tank left and that's it. Is this elite? Yes it is. Reload, reload. We're just gonna run into the middle here. Not care. Well, that was a hit. that was a miss. We hit the freaking. Does they just read man ATGMs all the time? That's one of them knocked out. That's a weasel, but I think it's knocked out. Knocked out. Abrams. That did absolutely nothing. Jesus, what happened? Okay, I think we just knocked out all the artillery, didn't we? Is that part of the objective? Oh, there's one more left. Or is that it? Aren't they all destroyed now? Oh, this one might still be alive, technically speaking. I don't know, There's they, they seem to be mostly dead. I mean, these Panza, we just don't have as much armor. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. That's <laughs> it's just this last one right now. Oh, or not. Okay, what's over here then? Get off that thing. Get off that thing. 
Run them over. Ab or Leopard should be right here. Smoke screen. Oh, we did knock out this tank actually here. It's just a bunch of infantry left now, I believe. I think we even killed the Abrams. Unless that was it just firing. Oh, it's right here, isn't it? That's an engine fire. Perfect. Okay, I think this might be it. How is there still enemy artillery inbound? We killed everything. Oh, my engineer died too. Uh, engineer. Hey, buddies. You've just been promoted to running up forward and getting inside of that thing. And then we'll even use an engineer as a makeshift crewman. Okay, push up. Push up. BTR. Disengage dis or disembark the Spetsnaz. Reloading HE. Nah, we'll start shooting. Okay, a little less effective. Should have waited for it. Really? This is hardcore mode too, by the way. It is not even hitting this guy. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Okay, Spetsnaz, you've been promoted to assault infantry, or uh, maybe demoted. I'm not sure. Can we repair these vehicles, boyos? Okay. T90. Uh, how? How are they still firing? Is this one still technically alive? Because it's definitely not. Free tip. It's definitely not still alive. Ammo airdrop. Get out of here. It's just surviving everything. How is this still alive? It's been shot so many times. It has no armor. They're setting it another uh, another boxer, I think. All right, here we go. HE, reload to PKMT. Okay, one. Switch to HE or AP, I guess. This thing actually could... Eh, I don't think it can kill me. There, okay, there we go. That should be the end of it. There's no way they're sending more stuff at me to kill me now. Like, no, there's no more... Oh, did we just, we just win? Did we just have to destroy the artillery? Like, whoa! <laughs> okay. Mission, interesting. Execution of the mission, in my opinion, pretty bad. Uh, armor makes it very hard. You can't really flank, because if you flank, there was, you know... I guess like seven or eight pieces of enemy armor here, and you can't really flank because the second you try to flank, your armor is at a, at a horrible angle. You can't, I guess what you could do is is move, wait for them to fire at your front, move, wait for them to fire at your front. So I'm like move, angle, move, angle, move, angle, move, angle. But that's hard because there's multiple tanks, ATGMs, or RPG armed infantry. Um, your own infantry just gets demolished by this artillery, which also was just randomly firing even when it wasn't firing and it was hitting near your guys. Um, and then, I don't know, I just really feel like there's just a lack of voices and it really kind of ruins my immersion. That being said, we're going to go to the next German mission at some point soon. For now, hope you guys enjoyed and love to see you in the next one. Cheers.